Hey everyone, this is Lisa Aquafreda with Unipathic News, and I am here with Invita Medical Centers, the CEO, founder, Dr. Dino Prado today. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. Thank you for having me. And we are talking today about Lyme disease, and Dr. Dino Prado, I know so many people are affected by that every single year, and you have just published a peer review study talking all about this. Yeah, we did. Well, we've published several papers this year, <laughs> and uh, our team has put together a paper on the chronic Lyme disease complex and how it evades the immune system, how it evades antibiotics, and how it hides in areas like the blood-brain barrier. And these are really important to understand because if you don't effectively treat those areas, you're not going to be able to help these patients with the chronic Lyme disease complex. And you just mentioned about hiding in the blood-brain barrier. Did I hear that correctly? Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean exactly? So our body has a protective mechanism, and basically it's so that our brain and our central nervous system are protected from substances, infections getting into those areas. But at the same time, when infections get there, like Lyme disease can, and other infections, the co-infections of Lyme disease can, then we need to be able to penetrate the blood-brain barrier using specialized techniques to kill those infections. What are some of those techniques that are really cutting edge? Well, mainly what we use are um, targeted uh, delivery methods so that we can get into the blood-brain barrier delivering either the appropriate antibiotic or phytotherapeutic that's going to help to rebuild the immune system or in fact fight the infection. Because patients don't just have Borrelia, they have a number of infections. They'll have viruses, bacteria, fungus, mycotoxins, so, and on. So you need to be able to test all that in the patient and treat all that. And some of those are in that blood-brain barrier area and to treat that you need to be able to deliver the medicine into those regions. So is it kind of um, a very advanced type of being able to treat someone and figure out what they have? I'm sure it goes beyond just one test. Yeah, absolutely. And these patients that we see have gone everywhere. They've gone to the Lyme literate doctors, they've done the conventional, they've got multiple specialists, they've been diagnosed with fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, all these neurological problems and, and what they really don't all the, a lot of these autoimmune diseases are called idiopathic so they mean they don't know what really caused the disease but what we do is we test very specifically immune system we specifically test the, all the various infections then we test all the various deficiencies on and on and on and when we do that we develop a blueprint so that we're able to treat those patients and really improve their quality of life and really make a major impact in the, in the way they're feeling and these these infections are so important to treat because they cause other chronic problems cancers, heart disease, other conditions as well. So it becomes important to really get these cleaned out for these patients. It sounds like you guys take a very thorough approach. Yeah, we do. We call our medicine personalized at the highest level because we're taking the best technologies and combining that on each individual patient. And really just trying to do you kind of cater it towards what they need? Yeah, everything's based on their their clinical history, it's based on all the in-depth testing. And you know, for example, when you have these infections, you develop neurotoxins, right? And so these neurotoxins are like, they're spewed out by the infections and they block your hormones, they block your nervous system. So if you have all these blocks, you're gonna have patients with depression, anxiety, uh, mood shifts, uh, hormonal imbalances, and basically that's everything we need for everyday life yeah. to be healthy, right? So these yeah. neurotoxin loads need to be flushed at the same time as we're killing out these infections and reestablishing immunity. So that's why Lyme disease is called the great mimicker. It can mimic so many diseases, like 360 plus diseases. But when we're able to get to the infections, remove those neurotoxins, we really have a chance of improving quality of life for our patients. When someone steps into Meta Medical Center, what, what can you promise that they're going to get out from, from get, helping them? Well, just because we've been doing this for over a decade and treated thousands of patients, they're going to have access to some of the best technology in the world for chronic Lyme disease complex. They're going to have a highly personalized testing and treatment that they've usually gotten nowhere else. And then more importantly, the therapies we've had to develop over the years to target those. And that's really the advantage that they get. And, and of course, we have an amazing, loving, well-trained staff that's taken 15 years to build. We really appreciate you taking the time to talk with us today. And thank you so much. I'm Lisa Aquafreda for Unipathic News.